Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and today I'm going to show you how to create moving cameras in Source Filmmaker. So the map that you see right now is CP Dust Bowl, and the first thing, of course, that you'll want to do is create a new camera to work with. So this will be the first camera. The first thing that I'll do, since this will be a moving camera, is I'll position it where I want it to be at the start of the scene, or the start of the shot. So I'll sort of position it at a sort of a high point here looking down at this building. Next, whenever you want to animate a camera, what you'll need to do is create an animation set for it. So go over here, click this plus symbol, click create animation set, set for existing elements, and find your camera up here at the top, click OK, and you'll have an animation set for it. Now make sure you click it just so it's the active animation set, then click this icon here to enter the graph editor. Now this, uh, the graph editor is where you'll do your keyframing at and more or less produce the animation. So we already have the camera at a position where we want it to be uh, when the shot starts. So what I'll do is I'll click this icon here to create a bookmark. Next, what you need to do is just move the time slider a few seconds ahead. I'll put it up to three seconds. Then reposition the camera where you want it to be at that point in time. So I'll put it right here in the doorway. So three seconds later, the camera will be down here at the doorway. And again, you go back down to the time slider, move it a few more seconds ahead. I'll put, put it up to six seconds. I'll try and spread it out evenly. When you have the time slider where you want it to be, again, move the camera at the new destination. I'll put it up here in this sort of opening up top and I'll also hold the R key and move my mouse to roll the camera just to give it a t sort of a tilt effect and I will repeat this process. So next up will be nine seconds into the timeline here. Next I'll bring the camera sort of down into this tunnel opening then I'll go to 12 seconds, position it near the end of this tunnel, sort of looking up here. I'll also go ahead and roll it the other way. And finally, I'll go up to 15 seconds and position the camera where I want it to be at the end of the shot. So I'll sort of put it right here. I'll roll it back to it, sort of even it out and scroll my mouse wheel downwards to zoom in so that we have a nice uh, zoomed in shot on the structure that houses the final final uh, capture or control point on this map. So now that we've added all of our bookmarks or keyframes, you can press the up key to go back to the beginning of the shot, play it, and here's the final camera animation. So you can see it performing the roll that we set up, goes down into the tunnel, starts to roll back the other way, straightens itself back out up here, and finishes as a uh, final shot on this building. Now, in addition to this, if you want to modify keyframes, you can use the left and right brackets to skip in between them like this. And as you end up on each keyframe, if you want to change it, since you're already on the keyframe, all you have to do is just uh, move the camera. So, for example, if we want the second shot to take us inside the building, all we have to do is reposition it like that. And since we're already on the keyframe, it uh, automatically saves the work that we've done. Now, if we go back, the camera goes further inside the building before doing the roll up here. Something else you can do too is you can go to each bookmark, you can click it to select it, you can do different things there. You can also even hold down click on a bookmark, move it left and right to increase or decrease its duration. So if we want to make this a rather quick animation, you can sort of uh, drag each bookmark closer to the beginning of the timeline and now that I've done that, it's a very fast camera animation. 
So that's pretty much all there is to creating a moving camera. There are actually several ways to go about doing it, but I find that using the graph editor and bookmarks is one of the best ways. So I hope this helps you guys out. This is Chubb signing out.